Hey guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg here with a look at the speed and performance of the all new MacBook Pro with Retina display. The version I'm testing here today is the base configuration, which comes standard with a 2.3 GHz quad core i7 Ivy Bridge processor with 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. We also have two GPUs, an integrated Intel HD Graphics 4000 processor for low power performance, as well as an NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M with one gig of discrete GDDR5 memory. First up is our boot test, which will demonstrate just how quickly OS X loads on an SSD. In this case, just under 14 seconds. This is actually identical to the 2012 11-inch MacBook Air I just tested in my previous video. Now onto some benchmarks. First up is our disk speed test, which will test the read and write speeds of the SSD. In this case, we get some very impressive results. Write speeds hover around 350 megs, while read speeds redline at near 500 megs. This is the fastest SSD I've seen installed on a Mac to date, beating the SSD in the MacBook Air, which had similar read speeds but write speeds topping out at around 250 megs. Next up is Geekbench, which will give us a complete picture of our system performance so that we can compare it to other Macs. In this case, we get a very impressive score of 12,000, which is awfully close to the top end 27 inch iMac, which scores only slightly above that. Our final benchmark is Cinebench, which will test the MacBook's gaming potential. Once again, the MacBook Pro posts very impressive results with the OpenGL test showing a silky smooth 36 frames per second and a CPU score of around 6. By comparison, the top end 27 inch iMac with 2 gigs of RAM on the GPU scores 40 frames per second on the OpenGL test and just below 6 on the CPU score. This certainly outperforms the MacBook Air which scored around 17 frames per second on the OpenGL score and 2 on the CPU test. For a real world test, I'm using Final Cut Pro to process a 1 minute segment of an HD video recorded at 60 frames per second. It takes a little more than one minute to complete the task. In my last video, I tested the same segment on the 2012 MacBook Air and achieved similar results. Along with the rest of the MacBook line, the new Pro picks up two USB 3.0 ports, which dramatically improve read and write speeds to external drives equipped with USB 3. Using the disk speed test, we can achieve read write speeds at around 90 megs per second. This compares with around 30 megs for USB 2.0 on previous MacBooks. Now in conclusion, the MacBook Pro is a mobile powerhouse with top shelf processing power and graphics which rival most high-end desktops. Now I can't leave you without demonstrating the read speeds of the SSD by launching all the apps simultaneously. Launching all the apps takes about one minute and the system is remarkably stable. Now don't try this with any computer equipped with a traditional hard disk. So that's going to do it for me guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.